Good morning. We're having a productive start to the day, <laughs> followed by a fun middle part of the day. And probably a fun end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, or maybe more productiveness. Mm, no, I'm getting 100% lazy after the morning. <laughs> Guess what's going? I'm being a little sick and twisted and I'm wearing my Mickey Santa hat because we're tearing down the Christmas tree today. Not all the decorations, but I want to get this tree out of here. Yeah. So we can get our living room back to back to snuff. I put um, James's tent in his room. Why are you laughing at me? Because I, did I say something wrong? <laughs> the vlog is starting. at its finest. You learn that Netflix loses the office to Peacock and rather than buying the Peacock subscription, you buy the the deal on Apple TV for $30 for the whole series, which is super opportunistic for the office because they know everyone's going to be, would rather buy the digital version at $30. Yes. Thus begins the office. Big kid number one. Big kid number two. He loves the fan. Uh oh. He does love the fan. How's your day going? Did you read the newspaper this Saturday morning? Have enough coffee? Need a Danish maybe? <laughs> the Danish does sound delicious. <gasps> Mama's trying to butt in our fun. Chicken coma. That's good. Thanks, Jamesy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jamesy. Thank you. Look at that hand motion. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you love it? You don't know yet? You're doing much better than you have before in this. Slow it down a little bit. <gasps> You are such a big kid now. I can't even handle it. those pants fit you like not before. He loves staring at the fan. Wow. Whoa, you love it. to Boutique to try and get Trader Sam Chippin's like chip and dip bowl that just came out. Sold but out. Sold out. But they said they might have them soon in like the next week or two. Yeah, so we'll be on the lookout, not for us, but for... For some of our tiki collecting friends mm -hmm. over in a different state than here. Yeah, so we'll have to come back. Look at those Disney ducks. Oh. Tomorrowland, the past couple of trips here. So, we're gonna show it some appreciation. Sarah and I came over here to check out Tron, even though we were gonna go check it out from the circus. But we were just throwing some love because we love this land. And people move. People move us right here. Can't wait till it comes back. Who knows when it's gonna come back? That was so unexpected. What? It, it going, going down. down. Like I, I feel like, like it was unexpected for Disney. Yeah. I feel like it was just mechanically down for right. multiple weeks and then they're like, you know what, let's just keep it down. Well, then it was like literally COVID. Right, and then they, they were like, we're keeping it for on, refurb. Yeah, Peter did 12 hours on the Skyliner. It was supposed to be on here on March 14th. Right. And that was our last day at Disney before the park shut down. So should, when it when this reopens, should I do 12 hours on the people mover upon its return? I like that. So now that James is two months old, He's about to double dip his first ride. Dumbo. Woo.
We're doing back to back rides. This is a big one. And a first time for this little guy. That's why it's a big one. Yes. The Haunted Mansion. Any volunteers? <laughs> getting in line when the sun's out and getting out when the sun's down. It's like yeah. Haunted Mansion magic. Mm. We're on our way out. Could be our last time here this year with the Christmas decorations. Stop making a little little bit of a stop at Disney Springs. So this boy was not too thrilled in the car just now. But the second we got him in the bass the bugaboo, he at least looks like he's quietly plotting our demise. <laughs> but we're about to cover him up in a milk snob and stop at a, a quick store. Okay, so Peter's sister got us a sugar boo gift card for Christmas, and I think we're gonna finally get our castables. We have been eyeing these literally forever. And then we would like slowly but surely get the plates and stuff. But the pastables are what we're lacking. We are at Market on South. I got an orange bird sandwich with garlic mac. I surprised Peter with some vegan hot dogs. So one's a holiday dog and the other is a Baruca? Like, yeah, Puerto Rican style. And then Peter got a special burger. It's like a southern style. I don't know, it looks like a double patty. Looks well, it's the patty, then the fried green tomato. Oh, yeah. Looks delicious. And I got some waters. And after the hecticness that is Disney Springs, we actually think of we it may have hit capacity yeah. on the way out. Look at this beautiful outdoor seating yes. at Market on South. Peaceful, calm, delightful. Beautiful out. Wow. Yep. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Gorgeous. So this is James' true first time here because we had Dixie Darm in Sanford, but this is our place. And it was so good. And whoever was slinging out the portions tonight was awesome. I'm so full. Hey, beautiful. Hey. What'd you think? It was so good. It was like extra good. Our entrees, I think, were both awesome. And I, I got that, slu that special Southern stacked burger thing. They have a house-made burger, so they don't do Impossible, they don't do Beyond, they do a house scratch. So good. Vegetable-based burger, and it is the best burger in the world. And I feel like the portions are bigger, and I'm a big, like, Portions? <laughs> yeah, I do, I do base a lot of my, like, critique on how it is, especially now that you're not in the restaurant setting, it's everything is always packed up. There's no inside seating at all. I always felt like when they went to that, that the portions got smaller but tonight like the sides were in boats my sandwich was overflowing so happy and the sides were extra spunky and delicious yeah they were we didn't even show how cute of a shirt this little boy was wearing he has mickey mouse ears look 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 don't sleep look he's got jeans on it's like mom stop bothering me I'm trying to rest are you happy or sad? We're doing like a happy laugh, happy cry at the same time. What's wrong? Do you know bath time's coming? <laughs> he loves the fan.
You love the fan? You watching all the creepy ghosts? <laughs> you look like a little old man right now. You do? You a little old man, you little weirdo. <laughs> been sleeping for hours. I know. I had to. Get, we're gonna, we have to give him a bath, and I had to like strip him out of down his diaper to wake him up. I did that to wake you. Look at these beautiful new pasta bowl, pasta plates. So nice and big and shallow. Salad, pasta, all the goods. Sarah's got the baby hooked up. Look good to go getting ready for bed, getting ready for a good night's sleep. But I just wanted to read her again a thank you from Sarah, James, Eve, and myself and all of ACS for the, I think it was five donors today of about a $225 to our World Marathon. Um, I might be having an update on that soon. I got an email from the race director. They might be projecting the move from November, 2020 to January, 2021 due to the changing landscape of international travel in a global pandemic. Um, but hopefully everyone, including the race director, is optimistic on the world looking in a, in a different place then. But regardless of that, ACS, they're hurting. A lot of the fundraising events they have throughout the year are with triathlons and marathons and 5Ks locally, 10Ks, all different kinds of events ACS puts on just balls, concerts, all these things. And a lot of those, almost all those things couldn't really happen in 2020. So they're they're running at a deficit. I think they lost over $200 million in, in the fundraising goals in the year. Um, so yes, we have an extremely lofty goal of $150,000, but it means more now than, than it ever has before because we started having this conversation in February. So thank you for those those donations today. We're going to be talking a lot more a lot more frequently on ACS on um, just things that we're going to be doing and just the appreciation on a $5 donation. I know it's $150,000 which sounds insane, but all of that kind of like a marathon in itself or in this case seven marathons happens at one step at a time. You don't realize how quickly somebody donating $5 here, $5 there and all of a sudden we have 100 people who donated $5. That's $500, that's incredible. And it's another step closer to ACS accomplishing their mission, which is to defeat the evil that is cancer. So um, soapbox today, they won't always be this lengthy, but just wanted to rehash all of that. Thank you so much. We're trying to get um, on YouTube the giving tab because we would initiate the giving tab, which is like, you could, there's going to be, a, if we get it, there'd be a donate button under every video. And I think it would remove all AdSense from our YouTube. Um, and I think it goes towards the charity that we would connect it to, which would be ACS, which we're okay with, but you have to have 10,000 subscribers. We're not there yet. And I'd rather reach out to YouTube and try to get in touch with somebody just to them activate it rather than us try to push and pedal to super quickly get 4,000 subscribers. Cause we, you guys know us, we like to curate that relationship with as many of you on a deep individualistic level. Um, so we're trying to get that, but you know, YouTube's a big company and we're just four, four little people here in Orlando, Florida. Anyway, daily message time. This is not the right year. How does this work so simply? I don't know, we would go like this. Yes. We're gonna order, they didn't have any of these at Sugar which is the ultimate reason why we went, but they didn't have any. Um, so we are going, to, oh, that makes me sad but hopeful but we're gonna order the the new one online oh this one doesn't even have an author on it daily message fill your lungs up with life and repeat after me i'm alive i'm alive i'm alive <laughs> e. Looks like a, a soldier <laughs> yeah i was gonna say mummy a mummy soldier. He won't move. Look at this. He's just staring at us. Oh. 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 Oh, that's a big yawn. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Did you show them the pickle? Nope. That's a mystery for tomorrow.
know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.